now for the old Turkish people. I just want to introduce something what's a Bosnian tradition, which means in some way it's very similar like a Tur Turkish culture. Like you know, we have 600 years Ottoman Empire, means Osmanli Turkish, so we are some kind of same people. Now, actually, we're sitting where we're located, in the old part of the city, we says Bashcharshia. So that means that part of the city is built about 500 years ago, in a period when we have the, the Ottoman Empire here, and he really reminded for the, a lot of old cities in uh, Turkey. Most of that shops is located in this area, and the best of them is in this area. So how we do that? Actually, every day, we started about 7 o'clock in the morning, started with the newspapers, coffee, or s sometimes tea, all in depends what, what somebody like it. So we start, uh, actually we started about seven o'clock until eight o'clock in the night. During the summer, when we have a lot of tourists, we're working longer until midnight sometimes. During the season, which means in the summer, when we have a lot of tourists, really. So we are open at, like I said, 7 o'clock in the morning until sometimes at the midnight. In a period when we have the, the Ramazan, you know, we're working until 1 or 2 o'clock, you know, people sitting all around, drinking the coffee or tea, you know, so until there became the time for the Sahur. So this is a typically for the, for the month of the Ramazan. And finally, here is about 83% of the Muslim people who live exactly in this part of the city. So, actually, if you came in the Sarajevo, you have a lot of that to see. If somebody have interest about the, the period of the war also, you know, like Sarajevo Tuna Tunnel, or, you know, a lot of the destroyed part of the city is they still destroyed. And about, the, actually, something what's the most important to see in the Sarajevo, this is a Bashcharsha. This is a, you know, any of the tourists who's, who's became all over the world, you know. First, what they want to see, this is Bashasha, you know. So everybody knows for that part of the city. So during the summer, we have really a lot, a lot of tourists all over the world. But sometimes, something what's a very important for us, that in the last five or six years, we have really a lot of tourists for the Turkey which means maybe five, six or seven years ago, we had them so many. And some of them, they opened the, 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 some kind of the shops in the city, like uh, donor restaurant or, you know. So in some kind, <laughs> this is a, something like a back in our history. And I mean, I really wish to, to everybody who lives in the Turkey that they came in the Sarajevo and that they see who we are, how we're living, you know, and, and probably there'll be pretty sure that, that, that our lives is very similar like the life of the people in the Turkey.
everything what I have in my shop, there's became what handmade, like Bosnian kilims or carpet, which means what's a very similar made like a Turkish carpet, hand woven, hand weaving carpet, metal work. We use a lot the copper for the coffee or tea sets. And something what's very important to know to the Turkish people who's became in Sarajevo like a tourist, that they must good care about the stuff because a lot of that is made and came from the China. So it means everything what's, uh, let me say, cheaper, uh, you know, a lot cheaper than, than, than handmade, that's not became for the Bosnia. Like I said, we we working a lot of things and a lot of stuff historically, what's uh, remind on the Turkish stuff about that long period where we have actually same history. So everything what you will see in, in my shop, it's exactly made here. Some of, of the made, it's my made like metalwork, using a lot of copper or gold for sometimes the, the gold coffee sets. And carpets, uh, gloves, uh, scarves, jackets made out of clean sheep wool. This is a made by hand also. It's a tradition in the Boston world. Last 20 years, the Turkish people have a lot for the Bosnians, really a lot. I mean, like economically or, you know, some of the people during the wars have operated on a Turkey, a lot of refugees. But now, maybe the best way to help us is we came in Sarajevo and spent some money. You know, I wish to, to make my life if I'm working not about humanitarian help, help or something else. Really help to, 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 to people in Sarajevo or in all Bosnia is when you came here and spent some time, spent some money, you know, to, because you have a lot of nice stuff to, to, to buy. This, our food, it's very similar like in a Turkey. So you have a lot of good things to see, you know, to make really nice time. And in the same time, you're helping to us. So that means helping in that way, not about the humanitarian help. It's a 20 years after the war, so we need work, we need the jobs. This is your way, best way to help to us. Thanks.